want to talk about Norcross? I'll talk about Norcross first. Okay. So, um, you know, Norcross, we're really excited about what it's going. We announced that, you know, we, we brought the first couple hundred miners online last month. Um, we're, we also told that let everybody know that we're bringing more online all the time. Now, Norcross has been a little behind. We, we, we had hopes that we would be done already. Um, but also immersion's new for us. So, you know, we, we learned some things, we grew, and we also had delays, unfortunately, with our utility partner. Um, you know, the transformers were supposed to be there and they didn't show up when they were supposed to, and that, that, that's what happens, it's supply chain, right? But right now we're, we're really excited because we have our first miners hashing. We expect to be adding a lot in the coming quarter and you know, optimally what, what we're shooting for is to have you know, everything taken care of in this corner or this quarter and then we're off to hopefully our next site. You know, we, some of our peers you know, have been kind of forced into taking properties or power rates that they haven't necessarily wanted to, but they need to because they couldn't find anything else. Um, you know, the market is getting more competitive in the power space. Um, utilities and power providers now know the Bitcoin miners are here and they're going to be big power uh, buyers. And so negotiations take longer to get right. So we want to start thinking in gigawatts, not megawatts yeah. in, in what we do. And so, you know, overall, really, real excited about uh, Norcross. We're, you know, it's been fun to see the performance improvements that come from being in immersion. Um, and you know we're we're still you know testing it, pushing it. So you know optimally later this quarter we'll we'll let everybody know the percentage improvements of yeah. overclocking and things we've been able to achieve. Um, but right now we're you know trying to find the sweet spot from efficiency. Uh, you know something a lot of people don't know about immersion is as you overclock, you do use more power. It's not this magical thing where yeah. it comes out of nowhere. So you really try to measure your watts per terahash and optimize it. So we're we're working with you know some really cool groups and some software to to, to, to help make that happen and uh, yeah it'll be exciting I, th I think I think we'll have a lot more to say about it later this quarter. Um, let's talk about Lancium. That's a huge huge press release you put out, uh, expanding the twenty exa hatch I think. Um, obviously there's risk here with Lancium. At least with the research I did, they don't have their campuses fully developed yet. So, how are you guys managing that risk? You know, I, I think it's it's probably a good idea to speak to why why we chose them too as a, as a partner. Um, and for those of you who've been watching live stream, probably just uh, listen to Lanceum a little bit. So, no, you're absolutely right. Um, Lanceum's campuses are still under development. You know, they have multiple campuses. Some are further along. Some are further, but you know, behind. And you know, we're pointing to the fourth quarter of this year is when we're going to be going live. So. We've, we've been talking to Lancium now for over five months. And uh, a big you know, part of our process was actually getting comfortable about the direction they're going. So you know, at this point, we do. We, we feel like a lot of supply chain stuff is taken care of, a lot of their purchasing you know, they've, they've got handled. And, but ultimately, a big thing was is the way that they're approaching the energy space. So we understand their business model, had some really great conversations about how they're going to use their technology, but ultimately feel, felt comfortable that as a real operator that they get it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, there's so many of these, I'll call them fly-by-night groups that have decided, hey, I'm going to be in Bitcoin, right? But again, to Matt's point, you know, being in the Bitcoin space is being in the energy space. You better understand the energy uh, more than you understand everything else. So we, we think they're going to be a great partner. What we also like is they are going to be building solar farms for every facility. So yes, we're gonna be in renewable rich West Texas, but for every facility that they launch, they're gonna try and build an equally sized solar farm. It may not be right next door, it may be you know down, the, down a ways, but they truly want to help decarbonize the grid by adding renewables. So that, that was a big thing for us. And, and part of what we're trying to accomplish really is decarbonization. You know, we always talk about sustainability. It's not just a word, but we actually believe it. And we think they're a partner that can take the efforts. So we're, we're really excited about it and think it's gonna go really well. Yeah. Okay. And we have agreements that, you know, number one, I'm, I'm sure one of the next questions is about the rates that we pay them. And that's under a pretty strict NDA, but I can tell you that based on our analysis, it's better than anybody in this space. Everybody sees it's 500 megawatts, my phone blows up. 
How are you gonna how are you gonna support five hundred megawatts of miners? Are you gonna dilute? Should I sell my shares today? <laughs> you know, it, it's just it's such a it's crazy, Ben. Honestly, I get people that call and it's like, how dare you sell Bitcoin? You know, if you're not a Bitcoin purist, you, you shouldn't be in the Bitcoin space. But also don't borrow any money and don't dilute, but grow and keep up with everyone else. So the cool thing about Lancium is that it grows at the scale and at the rate that we choose. One of the things that Zach made a strategic decision six months ago was to not commit a billion dollars to miners when they launched the S19 XP. Zach and I were in a meeting with some suppliers. Spot prices of equipment that's already in the US has dropped to the price that you would have paid for future deliveries. What that means is the gamble that we made in taking Bitcoin off our balance sheet and moving it into the market and reallocating that for infrastructure and immersion equipment is, is paying massive dividends because with Bitcoin coming down from 69 to 45 where it is under pressure, the value disconnect, we're, we're now being opportunistic. So we, we positioned ourselves differently. Lancium is just another arrow in the quiver.